Good morning from the Frankfurt office of CMC Markets and welcome to CMC Espresso. According to a Reuters report, the European Central Bank would publicly pledge to backstop financial markets in tandem with the Bank of England should Britain vote to leave the European Union. But if you look at the ECB, it is limited in what it can really do to stabilize already fast drop in shares of banking stops, uh, stocks. They would need to be able to tackle the solvency problem of banks or at least the assumption of it. Providing banks with ever more liquidity where there is already ample amounts of it won't really be helpful. But they might find a new trick to do it and they will hold a telephone conference on the day after the referendum, so in the morning hours of the 24th of June, to talk about what they can do. According to quant analysts from JP Morgan, the rally in equities uh, in the past weeks does not have uh, much justification in fundamentals or investors psychology. Those gains were significantly driven by inflows from systemic strategies, they write. This technical buying is now exhausted and leverage in the system is high. And so from a perspective of options pricing, JP Morgan now expects higher realized volatility in the near future. Pension funds, hedge funds, corporates, over buybacks, retail investors and foreign investors are less likely to provide significant support for the market near term. About $1,000 billion of S&P 500 options will expire this week. Those options are weighing more to the put side, so to the downside, and this could push volatility higher near term, according to JP Morgan. If you take a look at yesterday's U.S. import prices, it's quite interesting to see them going up alongside better than expected retail sales data. This could pressure the Federal Reserve to hike rates if only after the Brexit referendum, but this could cap the potential for a rally in stocks um, in the summer months to come and it would also cap any upside potential for euro dollar which has retraced quite far so you get to keep in mind that it shouldn't retrace more than 76.4% of the um, NFP rally it had one and a half weeks ago. So um, if it were to go down more than 76.4% this wouldn't be an impulse to the upside it would merely be a, um, so the impulse would more be a correction and we could be in a new downside impulse on the euro dollar so keep that in mind. But there will be more on this, um, on the Fed's view on uh, the uh, rate policy to at today's Fed meeting which will be closed with a press conference by Janet Yellen, the Fed's president. It will be interesting to hear what she has to say about the recent market turmoil the Brexit fears and also if and when she thinks it will be feasible to hike rates.